Hey. Meet my friend. Personalist Tim. Tim is sad. Because he has no torso. Pretty straightforward. Of course, it's not the end of the world. Tim could have it far worse. He could not have a head. Like Headless Harold. That would be worse. Or he could not have legs. Or arms. Tim broke his left arm in his youth. Leading to a few very inconvenient months. As it stands, Tim can do most things, albeit with an increased level of difficulty. So yes, it could be far worse. But don't tell Tim that. For one, he already knows. He's met Headless Harold. For another, it wouldn't make him feel any better. He would still be sad, because he has no torso. At most, it would make him feel bad about feeling bad, which is a useless feeling. And if he realizes that, he might feel bad about feeling bad about feeling bad. Which is a cycle that is hard to escape. Like those whirlpools at the water park that Tim can't go in. Because he would drown. But Tim knows there's no point in feeling sad about feeling sad. So he just lets himself be sad. After all, all sad people have reason to be sad. There are better reasons, and there are worse reasons. But Tim has a reason. He has no torso. Tim's internal anatomy is a mystery. Not even Tim knows how he works. Tim is fairly certain he has a brain, as certain as anyone who hasn't directly checked. His arms and legs are pretty standard. He broke his left arm in his youth. He healed like arms usually do. The biggest problem is how to wear the cast. But does Torsalos Tim have a heart? In a literal sense. He knows he must have something. His arm bled when he broke it. And Tim is occasionally prone to bloody noses. But where is it? Here? 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 Tim can breathe, and he does so often, so he must have lungs. And he can eat, too. Food goes in here, and comes out here. Bathrooms aren't pleasant for Tim. But the in-between is a mystery. Tim goes to the doctor, of course, once a year for routine physical. They try to make sense of Tim. The resulting x-rays were very crowded and less than helpful. And they can't get into him to look with their own eyes. After all, that might hit his heart. It could be here. Or here. Or here. Tim doesn't know if he'd agree to that anyway. It seems like a big inconvenience. As if he didn't have enough of those already. Tim has never had a major medical problem, aside from that broken arm. Sure, it would be nice to know how he works. But he knows that he works, and that's good enough for him. You've probably noticed Tim's arms and legs, and the fact that they are muscular. Maybe you assumed it was due to his lack of torso. Maybe his arms and legs had to pick up the slack, so they got buff. But that's not the reason. It's actually the opposite. Tim is very light due to his lack of torso, so his legs have to do less work. They were really skinny in his youth and his arms weren't much better. Then they got even worse, when he broke one of them. As his arm was healing, Tim thought a lot. He thought about how he took his arm for granted. Tim promised himself that he would make the most of his arms from then on, and his legs. After all, they were all he had, other than his head, which he was already quite happy with. Once his arm was better, Tim started going to the gym. It was hard at first, but then he got less hard. He got weird looks, of course, but he was used to that. Eventually, Tim was happy with his limbs. Other people don't care. They don't look at Tim and think, wow, that man is really buff. They think, wow, that man has no torso. But Tim didn't do it for them. Tim did it for Tim. And when Tim looks at himself in the mirror, he feels proud. You may think Tim doesn't have a good life. That is true. He has no torso. But if you ask Tim how he can go on like this, he'll tell you he doesn't understand the question. You could say that because Tim has never had a torso, he doesn't know what it's like to have one, so he can't miss it. The fish doesn't know the water, so to speak. But Tim knows the water. He sees everyone living life with their torsos, and he wishes he could do that. But there's more to Tim than a lack of torso. 
Tim has friends. Tim enjoys his friends. And his friends enjoy Tim. Tim has a job that he enjoys. Tim has hobbies that fulfill him. He's even been on a few dates. They didn't go over well. But he's over it. Tim is sad, of course. But he's been through worse. And he knows he'll be through better. And there's nothing he can do about his lack of torso. So we might as well enjoy his torso life to the fullest. A torso does not give life meaning. So when you ask Torsoless Tim how it goes on like this, what else can you do? Torso or not, time moves forward. Unless you're Headless Herald.